So I'm sure you're all familiar with these. I believe they call them books. Well, even after they've been written down on paper or screen by the author, there's an intricate process between that stage and what you hold in your hands. And that's the magic that happens in the printing house. But I personally had never conceived of how many steps were involved in printing a book. So I took a little trip to the printing house in Kent to see how the books are born. And I figured why not take you along with me. So first off, they take those words that the authors slaved away on and print them onto a massive plate. These big blue sheets you can see here. These sheets then get fed into a machine which prints them over and over again onto rolls and rolls of paper. Seriously, there's a lot of paper. Once the words are printed onto the paper, the feed then cuts these down into more manageable strips and folds them into sections. These sections are then sent out onto the binding line. The binding line then drops one of each section on top of each other to make a set of two books. One going one way, one going the other. Once all of the sections have been collected together, in comes the glue and a spine is made. And these aren't chocolate buttons, this is the glue before it's melted down. If we're printing paperbacks, all that needs to happen now is for the books to be chopped in two and have their edges trimmed off. In order to get those gorgeous hardbacks though, there's a few extra steps waiting to happen. Cases have to be made and have titles printed on the spines before being filled with all of those gorgeous words. Look at those beautifully bound books. But there will be no naked books on my watch, so then they need their dust jacket, which is folded on by this machine. And thus that book in your hands is made. All that need happen now is for those books to be lovingly shrink-wrapped and stacked onto plates to be sent out to bookstores and warehouses. So it's Thursday the 6th of October and that can mean only one thing. Books are my bag! For this week's Book Break episode I thought I would take you around some of the biggest and best bookshops in London.